Hi everybody, I'm Angel. Welcome to the show and day two of our cheese extravaganza. So I'm sorry, Terry is missing again. It's just a crazy week, but I promise you he is going to come to many of the cheese videos that we have going on, but not today, unfortunately. So I wanted to show you first, you know what, I did a major Costco run today and I got so many fresh fruits and vegetables and I was so excited because remember I told you yesterday we were low on grapes. Now we have six boxes of grapes, so we're not low anymore. Uh, but I was going to leave everything out and show you because I, you can get so much organic stuff there. Organic fresh broccoli, organic fresh cauliflower, organic carrots. And, and it's a really good price and I can buy it in bulk. And I mean, when you eat like that, you eat in bulk because there's not that many calories and you have to eat a lot to stay full and satisfied. So anyway, for watermelons, for Terry's favorite watermelon juice, I'm just trying to think, oh, organic cucumbers. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. I had so much stuff. So, and it was a rainy day. Anyway, here is the mozzarella cheese from yesterday. Remember I told you it was not gonna be pretty. This is actually the first I opened it. it smells very fragrant, so I'm... <laughs> okay, it's stuck. So, not for long, there we go. So here's what it looks like on the back, the sides. And I'm going to do a recipe for you, a very special, yummy recipe that I love. I'm going to do that for you on the next video. And I'm going to show you how this grates. Uh, and it's going to be really cool. So I am going to use it and show you how it works and how it grates. But for today, we are going to do ricotta cheese nut-free, oil-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, soy-free, you bet everything. So I know I told you yesterday that I was low on sunflower seeds, which is why I had to stop videoing. And this actually did come, but it didn't come till like nine o'clock last night. And I was telling you that I order my favorite sunflower seeds from Amazon, but these are actually you pick up from Amazon. Not affiliated, I'm just sharing. Uh, the sunflower seeds I like. I like their size. I like all of it. One thing that I used to love at Trader Joe's was their raw sunflower seeds because not only were they good and raw, but they were cheap. They don't carry them anymore. They only carry the roasted and salted. So what is a girl supposed to do? Anyway, so I just wanted to show you my sunflower seeds that I got. Anyhow, on with it. Two cups, I forgot to get a measuring cup, good deal. Two cups of sunflower seeds for the nut-free version. Now, I'm going to tell you that if you are not allergic to almonds, the ricotta cheese, even over cashews, this ricotta cheese made with almonds lights out. Just lights out amazing this is delicious i i wouldn't make this on youtube if it wasn't good but i'm telling you right now if you're not allergic to almonds you got to try it try it both ways and um, the almonds and the almonds have more calories and more fat than the sunflower seeds but that's probably why it tastes so good but when you do that you will need to soak the almonds for at least one hour and peel them you don't want to put almonds in here that have almond peels and, and what have you so Anyway, two cups of sunflower seeds for this recipe. A whole lemon juiced or a half of a big one. So this is the other half from the cheese that I made yesterday. So we're just gonna put our lemon juice in here. I don't really measure it. I just go by how big the, the lemons are. Because for me, when I have a recipe, one teaspoon or a half a teaspoon or a half of a tablespoon or whatever of a lemon, you're trying to squeeze it and I mean I guess you could squeeze it into a bowl and then you have another bowl to wash so look I always say a half of a big lemon is one tablespoon maybe there you go sorry off on a tangent two I'm looking at I wrote my little thing down here two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and it doesn't get 
this recipe, the recipe yesterday was easy, but this is this recipe today is beyond easy and good. And you can use this in anything that you would use ricotta in anything is real big time crowd pleaser. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I like the raw, so that's what I use. One teaspoon of tamari. I always buy the 50% less sodium because tamari does have sodium in it, but I buy the 50% less and I like tamari. If you have a Bragg's or soy sauce, go ahead and use that. Don't, don't run out and buy tamari if you want to do this. I do one teaspoon of tamari in this recipe. If you use salt, you don't have to use tamari. You could put salt in here. You know, I guess try a half a teaspoon, then a whole teaspoon, because it's probably maybe a little bit saltier than tamari, but you could try it. Or you could try it this way and see that it tastes delicious. One tablespoon of white miso paste, so yum. This is one of my secret ingredients, which is not so secret because you guys see me using it all the time, guys and gals. Um, let's see, did we do everything? Okay, three quarter cup of water. So I have a quarter of a cup here. And then a half of a cup. And I just know this is a good consistency, so I don't want to, I don't want to guess, okay? And then one teaspoon of garlic powder, and I am so sorry, I forgot my garlic powder over here. So, one teaspoon. Again, I'm just doing this realistic. I don't have anything measured out. I just want to show you how fast you can do this. And for some reason, I grabbed a half of a teaspoon, so there we go, too. All right, we have everything, boom, 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 that's it. Okay, then we're gonna grind it up in our high speed blender and you're gonna see how it looks like ricotta and tastes like it, delish. Okay, so we're all done. Simple, simple, and you're gonna see why I didn't wanna guess on the water because you want this to be ricotta consistency. You don't want this to be running all over the place. So there's your ricotta cheese, yum. I just put it in a container and keep it for whatever I'm doing. Wow, it's so crazy because one teaspoon of garlic powder has an amazing garlic smell. So I just pull this out of here. I put it in a container. I use it in lasagna, you know, whatever. I use it in a, you could make a pasta bake out of like a lentil pasta or a brown rice pasta or whatever your favorite pasta is put this mix just mix this in there boil the pasta mix this in with it while it's hot put some red gravy on it you know add your favorite if you want to add some i don't know basil or spinach or something like that some kind of wonderful green or you could just have it cheesy and pop it in the oven i don't know 350 for 30 minutes or something and you have a pasta bake you know you don't have to go through having lasagna noodles and all of that, but this makes wonderful ravioli filling. I mean, the list goes on and on. This stuff is incredible. Let me get a spoon to make sure we didn't miss anything because I'm crazy for that. Mm. Honest to God, and I hope this isn't gross to you, but I can just eat this ricotta cheese like this. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this ricotta recipe. I don't think it gets any simpler than this. And I'm gonna show you on tomorrow's video how we're gonna do something really special. So stay tuned. Thank you everybody for all your support. Please give me a like if you like this recipe and this video, simple, easy fun and delicious. And I really appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.